morning, Spartans. This is Mrs. Carter with the six period prize wheel. Let's see which class wins this week. Miss Villanueva. Congratulations. Let's see which cohort. All right, let's spin to see which cohort. Cohort B, congratulations, Miss Villanueva's cohort B. Six period. Have a great day, Spartans. Welcome back Spartans to our raffle for the virtual field trips. What we got going on today is we are gonna be raffling off for, I think it's like the Japan, or no, not Japan, for the Ellis Island, Miss Palomar's, which other ones um, are we raffling? Um, yeah, we have uh, Yellowstone, Buckingham Palace. Um, Japan is in there, I believe. Yosemite and yeah. There's one more that I can't remember, but we're doing it for the last couple of weeks. Some of you, uh, some of you guys have done them each week. So as you guys can see, some of your names are in there a couple of times. You guys can only win once. So once you guys win, we're going to go ahead and remove your other entries just to make it fair for everyone else. Um, some of the prizes we got going on, we have the top prize is a hydro flask. The second one is a um, stopper mask. And then we have some other, uh, four other small prizes that you guys will win. And Hano Hano, Ms. Hano Hano will get in contact with you guys, all right? So Ms. Palmares, you wanna go ahead and get us started? All right, so the first one that we are raffling off is a hydroflask. So here we go. Angelina, congratulations, Angelina. Nice job, Angelina. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove her name. All right. And what do we got next? All right, so our next prize is a Stoffer face mask. Fernanda Estrada, congratulations. All right, guys. So the next four prizes are going to be small prizes um, chosen from Miss Hanohano. So let's see what who wins. Amber Chang, good job, Amber. All right, three more. Alan, good job. So Alan, your name was in there a couple times. So since you've won, we're gonna remove all your names. Good job, dude. Two more. Relay. Woo! So those are all of our winners. We have one more, Mr. McFadden. Oh, never mind. We have one more winner. I jumped the gun on that one. I forgot how to count. Juliana Lester. All right, good job, everybody. So if you won, um, we will be in contact with you. You will get an email, a uh, message from Ms. Hanohano. We will find you, we will track you down. We have CIA agents working in the office. We have all your information. We will get your prizes to you guys, all right? Good job, and we will see you all next week for our next virtual field trip. Welcome back Spartans, it's your favorite part of the week, Spartan TV. I'm your host, Amir Donado, and today's date is Friday, May 7th, 2021. Today's character counts quote is, brave and true, I will be, each good deed sets me free. Each kind word makes me strong, I will fight for the right, and I will conquer the wrong. Let's celebrate our soldiers by saying the pledge. Please stand, place your right hand over your heart, ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
up next is the daily news. May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. This month we celebrate the achievements and contributions of Asian and Pacific Islander communities across the country. If you are looking for a new book to read, try these books next. Operatic Archer's Quest Amal Unbound A Scarf for Keiko Inside Out and Back Again A Wish in the Dark Find these and more on Sora. Happy reading Spartans! Good morning Spartans and happy Friday. I've got one really important announcement this week and that is for our current 8th graders. Eighth graders, if you are going to participate in promotion, you must register to do so and you must watch the video with all the promotion details. The video is posted on your Canvas um, global announcement. It's also been emailed home to your families and I will repost it and resend it out today. But eighth graders, you have until Friday, May 14th to register to participate in promotion. If participating in promotion is something you want to do, you must, must register by Friday, May 14th. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. See you later. Well, hello. 6th and 7th graders, soon to be 7th and 8th graders. Guess what? It's time for you to pick your elective class for next year. So um, those of you that are in 6th grade and 7th grade, here's the 411 on how you're going to pick your elective for next year. Uh, first, you're going to log into your queue, and it went past, oh, there you go. First, students, you're going to go to your portal and click on your queue, or you're going to go to studentconnection.dosd.net. Um, everyone should know how to get to their queue uh, on their iPad. Um, if you're having trouble with that, you can always log in by just going to studentconnection.dosd.net. And then you need to log in. Everyone knows you log in with your ID number. Um, your password is your first initial, your last initial, and your birth date with the slashes. If you have any trouble trying to log in, make sure you contact your counselor. But everyone should know how to log in to their studentconnection.dusd.net um, in the portal. Um, you just click on Q. All right, once you log in, you're going to see two different years. You're going to see your current year. So this is a sixth grader that's going to be a seventh grader. Their current year as a sixth grader for 2021. And their next year as a seventh grader will be 2021-2022. As you know, you're picking your elective for the 2021-2022 year. So you're going to need to highlight or pick that year, the 2021-2022. Once you log in, there's going to be a lot of information for you. We've got videos on every single elective that you can choose. I do want you to know that this video will also be on there just in case you need a quick reminder on how to choose your elective. In addition, do note that if you choose art design second semester, you're choosing foundations of animation. If you choose video production, second semester, you're choosing photography. If you choose gateway to tech design and modeling, second semester, you're choosing automation and robotics. Now, if you applied for AVID um, and we get the information on whether you made it into AVID before this window opens up on May 10th, because remember, you won't be able to do this until May 10th. But once the window opens up on May 10th, if we have the results of AVID, we are going to put the AVID elective in and you will not have to choose an elective. There will be no other elective for you to choose. 
Um, if you haven't been, if we don't have those results, then you will choose your elective and that elective will be replaced by AVID if you get into AVID. Those of you that have um, talked with Mr. T and are moving on to the second phase of the project Lead the Way, I have those names and those will automatically be put in so you will not have to choose an elective either um, because you uh, will automatically get that elective that you will have discussed with Mr. T. Now, if you've discussed this with Mr. T and you don't see that elective in there, please contact your counselor. So first thing you click once you've read all the directions is requests. Once you click on requests, you're going to see this pop up and it'll say add edit requests. You will need to click on the add edit requests and that will take you to this page. And this is where you're going to select your elective. Now, if you put uh, select art design, you will click on the art design and over here, you will see a description of art design and a submit button uh, or an add button and you're going to add it. Once you've added, it, it will come up here. And if you're good, then you click submit up here. Then you're done. Say that you um, don't like, that you've made a mistake, that you don't like what you picked. If you're in this spot right here, you just click that X and you start over. You can click uh, Gateway to Tech then once you've X'd out and then you can submit it there. Now remember, you only get one choice. If you put in more than one choice, then you're saying, Hey, counselor, you can pick the choice that you want, okay? So please, only add in one choice. I am going to send out a form, a Google form, to all the students' e Outlook emails um, for them to pick their second pick. So if you put in two electives, then you're telling the counselor, you pick my elective, I don't want to pick. If you don't, turn in an elective, if you don't pick anything by May 17th, you are telling the counselors, please pick my elective. So what happens if you've submitted and you're like, you know what, I need to change my mind. Go ahead, go back, click the add edit request and it will bring you back and you will start over. No big deal. Now, Let's do this in real time so that you can uh, see what it looks like. All righty. You're going to go to your uh, student connection. You're going to log in with your ID number, your first initial, your last initial. Now, this is a seventh grader that's going to be an eighth grader. So we do not want to pick on the 2021, I mean 2020, 2021. We want to pick on the 2021, 2022 school year because that's the uh, place where we want to pick our elective. So we'll click there and you can see it says requests. I'm going to read all my directions. I'm going to click on the videos that I want to watch. I may want to watch this how-to video one more time, so I'll click on that if I want to watch it one more time. I do remember that if I pick art, I'm going to foundations. If I pick video production, I'm going to photography second semester. And if I pick design and model second semester, I'm going to automation and robotics. So I'm going to hit requests. And once I hit request down here on the bottom, you can see I need to add, edit a course. I'm going to add, edit my course. And because I'm an eighth grader next year, sign language will be in there. So I'm going to pick sign language. Here's a little description of the sign language. I'm going to add the selected course. You know what? I don't want sign language. I want to go into culinary arts. I've X'd my box out. I've gone back. I have the description. I've added the selected course. Now I have Intro to Culinary Arts, and I am going to submit that. 
and I'm thinking about it and I'm thinking about it and I'm like, you know what? I don't think I want intro to culinary arts. I'm going to go back and I'm going to add edit. I'm going to get rid of the culinary arts and I'm going to go into advanced band. There's my description of advanced band. I'm going to add the course. I really like that. I'm going to hit submit and I'm done. I'm going to get this done before May 17th because if I don't, well, then I'm telling my counselor to pick the elective for me. Do note that any student that is that really, really struggled this year, they may get an academic support instead of their elective. If you have any questions, please email your counselors. We'll be happy to help you. Have a great day. Once again, my name is Amir Donato, and today's date is Friday, May 7th, 2021. Today's character counts quote is, brave and true I will be, each good deed sets me free. Each kind word makes me strong, I will fight for the right, I will conquer the wrong. Hope you guys have a good weekend, don't forget to read, lead, and succeed.